Hello, and welcome to episode 82 of Knits and Stuff. My name is Alicia, and today we'll be talking about finished objects, works in progress, pretty things, and local delights. Um, first, welcome to those of you that are new, and for those of you that are returning, thanks for coming back. Um, thanks for those of you that have left comments on YouTube. It's always nice to see that people are enjoying um, this podcast, so thank you for that. Um, and there's also a group on Ravelry that you can join. It's called Knits and Stuff Podcast, and there'll be a link in the show notes, which are at knitsandstuffpodcast.com or um, on YouTube in down in the description. So with that, let's get started. Um, finished objects. So I have a couple of finished objects that were gifts, and um, I've already given those to the gift recipients, but um, I did take some pictures, so I'll show them on the screen here. <laughs> So first finished object um, are another pair of baby booties. Um, they are Sarche's booties and I knit them out of Lisa Souza's sock in the colorway South Pacific um, as well as Miss Babs Yummy Two Play Toes in the colorway Suspense. Um, and these are for um, my fiance Will's uh, co-workers is having a, or just had <laughs> actually, um, their baby baby boy and uh, so we we gifted them a pair of hand knit baby booties and I knit them on US one's 2.25 millimeter needles um, and I chose the larger size from the pattern and they're still quite tiny so I feel like they um, fit the newborn uh, pretty well and yeah and then I got some cute little matching buttons that um, pulled some of that yellow green from the uh, Lisa Souza yarn uh, so that is the first finished object. And then next is another baby knit. <laughs> um, this was for one of our friends. Their baby uh, just turned one. And um, I knit a flax by Tin Can Knits. It's um, a free pattern. And uh, the sweater sizes go from like infant to adult. <laughs> so um, it's good pattern, a good simple pattern too for beginner knitters, especially if you're new to sweater knitting. Um, and it's a super quick baby knit too, so it was fun to, to knit this one up. And uh, I used Mount Labrigo yarn Washed in the colorway Aguas, so I didn't know that Mount Labrigo um, had a super wash version of their uh, popular worsted weight yarn. Um, it's a single ply, and I have a lot <laughs> of it and I've knit previous things in the past with it um, but it's been it's I've only used the um, worsted non-super wash kind so I have to hand wash it um, and be gentle with it or else it will felt now I know they have a super wash version of it um, called washed and so I use that to make the baby sweater so that the parents can <laughs> stick it in the um, washer if they need to to clean it um, so hopefully it holds up okay <laughs> in there. Um, and then I used US 6s, uh, 4.0 millimeter needles for the ribbing and US 8s, 5.0 millimeter needles for the rest of the body. Um, and I chose the size two to four years, um, which uh, seems like it, the baby's gonna grow out. He's gonna grow out of it <laughs> probably pretty quickly, um, even though he's only one year old, so. Uh, but hopefully it'll uh, give a, at least a year. Um, maybe next winter he'll still be able to wear it, hopefully. <laughs> so, Oh, and then also for the flax sweater, I tried out helical knitting um, for the first time. So uh, helical knitting is where you can um, kind of prevent the jog in the yarn um, in the knitting when you're using two skeins of yarn, so whether it's two alternating skeins of yarn or just um, with two different colors or just a uh, hand dyed yarn that you're using two skeins of to alternate to prevent any sort of weird color changes <laughs> that you would see where um, if you knit one skein um, and then switch to another you might have like an abrupt change or or a subtle like color difference between the two so usually when you're using hand dyed yarn um, you want to alternate the skeins so then with this particular color of Malabrigo it was um, kind of like a a tonal um, color so there were slight variations in the the dye 
and um, wanted to make sure that I alternated the skein so that it would be kind of even. And then I used helical knitting to make sure that I didn't have this like uh, kind of seam up the side um, where you would see the change in rows. Um, and it turned out really well. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't uh, have a, too much of an issue with it. I was a little bit like, okay, now that I'm at the ribbing, how do I start? Um, where do I start it? Because when you're doing helical knitting, you like shift over, um, the start of the row kind of, <laughs> or you shift over where you would change your colors. Um, I'll put a link in the show notes <laughs> so she can describe it better than I can. Uh, so yeah, um, I think next time I would just do the ribbing out of one color of yarn because that that wouldn't have really mattered now that I, <laughs> after I had started alternating in the ribbing, I was like, oh, I could just have done one skein. I don't know why I needed to continue alternating them. But anyway, um, that's all that I did for the flax. Um, so yeah, that's, that was a fun knit. And then my last finished object is something that, um, was sitting behind me and that I think I mentioned in the last episode that I wanted to do with the new stash enhancements um, is a seed stitch pillow. And this is out of Lime Brand Woolies Thick and Quick in the Colorway Spice Market. Um, and I um, knit it out of, uh, knit it on US 11's 8.0 millimeter needles. I based it off the project notes that Saxy Axi had on Ravelry. Um, so it was just cast on a certain number of stitches and then knit to a certain length and it will fit a roughly 14 by 14 pillow. Um, I think this one is a little bit bigger than that, but um, I already had a pillow <laughs> that I could use to stuff, um, to, to put inside. So uh, it just kind of stretched it around and I think it worked out pretty well. Um, I did end up, um, doing a kitchener stitch in in the with in the pattern <laughs> um so I kept uh the seed stitch um and I didn't think about that before I cast on <laughs> so I cast on and then when I finished knitting the rectangle um I undid my cast on um and then s kitchener stitched the two ends together to get a tube and then seamed up each side with um with mattress stitch and now I can't get the pillow out of here <laughs> but if I needed to like wash it I could undo one of the seams and then um take it out but otherwise <laughs> it's a uh, a new pillow so yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. And now you might be seeing it in the background um, or we'll have it in the living room or something. <laughs> so yeah. So moving on to works in progress. Um, I've been knitting on a few things. Um, I was actually going to podcast like a few weeks ago and then I realized I hadn't been knitting much. <laughs> and I was like, that's not going to be very exciting. Um, so I, and then I finished a couple projects, and then I started some new projects, <laughs> so now there's some knitting to show. Um, but the one of the things that I've been working on, um, I've shown in the past, and this is the Hemlock Ring Blanket, um, a pattern written up by Jared Flood. I am knitting this out of Cascade Yarns Eco Wool in the colorway Mocha, and on US 10 6.0 millimeter needles, I'm using my Lucky Interchangeable needles, and I think I was here the last time I showed it. Um, yeah, so it's right where that stitch marker was, is. Um, and I have done a few rows since then, um, but I know it's going to take longer and longer <laughs> as I increase stitches um, because it's just a basically a giant circular blanket. Yeah, I am excited um, to see what it will look like when it's done. I'm um, not sure how I'm going to block it yet because it's going to be pretty big and I don't know <laughs> where to block it, but we'll figure that out when it's done. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the hemlock ring blanket. So my next work in progress is um, a new beanie that I just realized I am wearing the yarn um, that I'm using for it. <laughs> so this is the Find Your Fade shawl. Um, it's knit out of 
seven different skeins of fingering weight yarn, and um, there is also a uh, pattern called the Faded Beanie that uses six different colors of um, fingering weight yarn and it is also a faded um, pattern so that it will give you kind of a gradient. And ooh, I really like how this looks on camera. <laughs> so this is the Beanie. Um, it is out of Madeline Tosh Merino Light in various colors. Um, I'll have a link uh, in the show notes to my project page which will on Ravelry, which will have a list of all of the colors. Um, but I think I am two, three, four colors in now. So um, yeah, I will probably be done with this pretty fast. Um, but uh, it's pretty simple pattern some stock knit stitch, but it's also the first time that I've done a, I think it's the first time that I've done a roll, not a roll hem, is it a roll hem? <laughs> um, where it's a two layer um, piece of knitting, so rather than having a ribbed edge around the border, you can also do um, a rolled hem. Um, where you knit a bit, you do a purl row, and then you knit some more, and then you uh, pick up all those stitches um, from the cast on, and then knit them together, and then continue knitting. Um, so yeah, I really like how this looks on a hat like this. Um, it's very clean, so my, this is the first time I've done it, but it will not be the last time. Um, so yeah, that's my hat. Um, oh, and then it's knit on US 2.5 or needles um, or 3.0 millimeter uh, for the brim, and then uh, US 4s or 3.5 millimeter needles for um, the main part of the hat. Um, so yeah, that's that, and now it's going to match <laughs> my shawl. So that's all the work in progress that I have. Uh, moving on to pretty things, uh, I recently picked up um, kind of an impulse buy. Miss <laughs> uh, Babs had a new collaboration with Jenny the Potter, um, and uh, they were selling a shawl kit with a matching mug, and so I had to pick it up because <laughs> it was um, a very pretty mug, and um, the colors were really pretty for the shawl too. They had three different options and I had a hard time choosing between two of them. Um, but eventually I settled with the colors that like matched the mug. <laughs> so, um, and they're very me colors versus the other ones that I was looking at, but I also kind of have a shawl in similar colors, but not quite. So hopefully it'll be okay. <laughs> this is the package of the yarn that I got. I just wanted to show it in its cute little wrapping. Um, it's so neat. <laughs> And then this is the mug. Um, this is the Jenny the Potter mug. It's really cute. I like it. Um, I have a couple other Jenny the Potter mugs. They do a lot of mugs for um, like events. Like I think Rhinebeck had a special mug each year that um, that they would do. And then um, I've gotten I think two now from Miss Babs collaboration. So this is the second one um, And then there was one that I got at stitches a while back that I don't think was unique to stitches, but um, it was the first time I was able to snag a mug <laughs> so um, Yeah, and I really like how um, The design that Jenny the Potter does with the um, kind of carving and then the colors filled in I think it looks really nice <laughs> so yeah Something that I hope um, to do more in ceramics once our studio opens back up. Um, hopefully, hopefully sometime next year, I guess. <laughs> it might be the earliest, but yeah, I miss my ceramics class. Um, anyway, <laughs> Ooh, so this package came with a sample of Miss Babs Moon Glow, um, a mohair. Yeah, <laughs> a mohair silk yarn. So that's nice. I've been kind of hooked a little bit on the um, mohair knits, like where you're holding a strand of mohair together with another um, skein of merino or 
other just wool yarn and so now I know I have another option if I need more mohair. <laughs> um, yeah, Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> So this shawl kit came with um, a full skein of Yummy Two Ply, it's the fingering weight um, super wash merino wool yarn, um, and it's in the colorway Ebony, so it's that black, pretty much just black, <laughs> and then um, this gradient set is called Astronomy, this is also Yummy Two Ply's, um, but I think think individually they're called toes yeah <laughs> and um, each colorway is on the back um, but the whole set is called astronomy and um, this as you can see this and this matches the mug <laughs> it's so cute Let's see yeah so I really liked how it matched up so well <laughs> I was like, I need to get this. It's so cute. Luckily for me, <laughs> this set also came with a shawl pattern, so I don't need to figure out what pattern I'm going to use with it. Um, so I am hoping to cast this on pretty soon, and then, um, because it already has a pattern, <laughs> and then uh, maybe you guys, you'll be able to see it um, next next podcast. So yeah, I'm excited. So that brings us to local delights. Um, this time I wanted to talk about my local yarn store because I don't think I have before. Um, there is a yarn store in Albany on um, Solano where um, it's kind of the small uh, street where a lot of shops and restaurants are in Albany and Berkeley, um, kind of the northern side Berkeley. <laughs> the yarn shop is called Avenue Yarns and um, it's super close to me and I really should go there more often but um, I also really shouldn't buy more yarn. <laughs> um, I have, I need to start knitting through some of my stash, especially um, stuff that I've gotten from like festivals um, before I go to the next festival, <laughs> like Stitches West. I want to start doing a thing where I knit something that I bought from Stitches West um, before the next year's Stitches West, so I'm actually going through my stash and not just letting it sit for years. <laughs> um, but this year they don't have uh, Stitches in person again because it would have been in February. Hopefully next year we'll be back in person um, and be able to go to the festivals again. Um, but yeah, they did do a virtual Stitches, um, but I didn't really get a chance to check that one out. Um, but I can't wait until we're back in person. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, uh, I can always go to my local yarn shop and that segue. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so my local yarn shop um, is actually where I picked up the yarn for um, the flax sweater that I knit. Um, and it was super easy because they're doing um, online order uh, in-store pickup. So you could browse their store online or their inventory online and then go to the store and pick it up um, but they also have limited um, capacity shopping in indoor shopping available <laughs> so you can still go in and peruse the yarn um, so yeah I was very tempted to do that <laughs> but then I was with Will and I just wanted to pick up the yarn and not drag him through the yarn store so um, yeah, actually, funny story, when we were going to go pick up the yarn, we managed to lock ourselves out of the house, <laughs> so, um, luckily, we had some friends that could help us with our spare key <laughs> and, um, and get back in, but we had time to go to the yarn store, pick up the yarn, and casually walk back <laughs> until we were able to get back into our house, um, so yeah, that was fun. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so if you're looking for a yarn store to browse and you're in the area, um, Avenue Yarns is great and they have a lot of selection um, there. So anyway, that's my local delights um, this time. And I think that's all I have for everyone today. Um, uh, social media stuff. I'm Eliana Knits on Ravelry. I am Unperfect529 on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, I guess, um, everywhere else. And um, 
again, show notes are at knitsandstuffpodcast.com or down below if you're watching on YouTube. And hopefully I will be able to record again in another month. <laughs> um, hopefully everyone's staying safe and healthy and I'm um, looking forward to daylight savings, I guess. <laughs> Here in the States, Daylight Savings is coming up, um, so we will be springing forward an hour, which is great because we get more sunlight, um, but also not great because we lose an hour <laughs> of sleep, I guess. Um, I feel like I have to, it takes a couple days to adjust, so um, yeah, uh, but at least, you know, spring is on its way and, and it's nice to get some more sunlight and outdoor time um, when we're stuck inside. Okay, so thank you all for watching. Um, I will see you all next time and um, happy knitting. Okay, bye.